guys, me Alexa here, and today I am going to be showing you my top three go-to chia seed recipes. At first, I really didn't like chia seed pudding because of the texture. It really just threw me off. I kind of just made myself like it. I just kept eating it and trying different flavors and experimenting with things. And now I love it and it's great. My three go-tos that I tend to make the most are the totally basic one, which is pretty much just, you know, chia seeds and almond milk. I have a chocolate cinnamon one that I really like that I put chocolate protein powder in so it'll kind of keep you going longer. And then my favorite one is the apple pie one. They don't require a ton of prep work. You just whip them up, stick them in the fridge the night before, then the next day you take them out, add your toppings, and you are good to go about your day. Normally chia seed pudding is all vegan depending on the ingredients that you use. I used agave in the first one, not sure if that's vegan, but you could always just use maple syrup if you wanted to fully veggie out. And then in the second one, I used a chocolate protein powder. I used my brother's, so it's probably not vegan, but there are definitely vegan chocolate protein powders that you can use. All of these recipes are super customizable to make whatever you want. If you throw things in a jar and mix them together, they're probably going to taste good. I'm actually going to head into a voiceover for the next part of the video because I don't have a cute kitchen or anyone to help film. So it's all just voiceover from here on out. But I hope you enjoy and I will see you at the end. Let's go! So we're going to be starting off with the totally basic one and I'm using these chia seeds that I just got from Marshalls but you can use whatever you want. Every recipe is going to have a 1 4th cup of chia seeds and 1 cup of almond milk as the base. After we finish off the almond milk we're going to be adding in some vanilla. I don't have measurements for this I just kind of give it a good squeeze as well as some agave. Once again not measuring. Then you're going to just stir it up and pop on a super cute lid. These are from the Pioneer Woman. Uh, I got them at Walmart for I don't know how much. <laughs> now that the first one is done, we're heading into the second one, which is the chocolate cinnamon one. Once again, starting off with a chia seed base, now we are adding a chocolate protein powder. This is a GNC brand. Next is the cinnamon. Duh. Go ahead and give the dry goods a nice stir, and then you can go ahead and add in your almond milk. Here we are, stirring it again. You really need to give it a thorough stir before you can pop that lid back on. Seal it, and second one is done. Next, we're going into the apple pie one, my favorite. So, chia seeds, pretty basic. Now we're adding cinnamon. We are also going to be adding some nutmeg, almond milk, vanilla again. You want to stir pretty continuously so the chia seeds don't clump up. And what's apple pie without apples? Go ahead and add those in there. Like I said, you need to stir it up again, pop your lid back on, and the third one is done. Now we're going to be placing them all in the fridge overnight. We have our three sitting here, and they will be good to go in the morning. That's my dog, Toby. The next day, you're just going to pull these bad boys out of the fridge, and here I have set out some strawberries, bananas, and walnuts that I'm going to be cutting up and placing in each of the chia seed puddings as a topping. You don't really need to do this the night before because it will soften all of the fruit and the nuts, and I like mine to have a fresher and crisper taste and texture to them. Go ahead and add all of your toppings into the chia seed puddings, put as much as you want, and we are all set. You have the basic one, we have the chocolate cinnamon one, and we have the apple pie one. Okay guys, those are my three go-to chia seed pudding recipes. Comment below or just let me know if you like the voiceover or if you would rather me actually film myself and talking through the recipes or if you would rather me just put music over it and then put words on the screen, please subscribe to my channel and follow this journey that we're on. Stay tuned for more videos and I will see you next time. Bye guys!